Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to JWG episode 13, just one more show away from WrestleMania, the grandest stage for JWG. We're gonna kick off this night with a fatal four-way to determine who will be, who will take the last spot in the European Championship ladder match. So Luke Phillip actually found the top four people who would be a great contender and a great opponent for Xavier Woods European Championship. And here we have Kofi Kingston, Hideo Itami, Pete Dunne, and Samoa Joe. Every man in this ring right here. Let's get this match started. Oh, oh my, oh my God! What a move! What strength for Kofi Kingston! What strength! Kofi drags Hideo Itami. Cover one, two. Nope. Samoa Joe stops it. He's not gonna let this one in quick. Pete Dunne has Kofi Kingston. Samoa Joe. One second. Oh my God! Oh my God! A bitter one. Two, draw kick out, kick. Oh my God! I thought I did time we would have it. What? Um, this is all for WrestleMania, people. This is all for WrestleMania. Pete Dunne is in the corner. Oh my goodness! I big knee to the face of Pete Dunne. By the time Kofi Kingston. Oh, I can't first. Jesus Christ! I didn't know they wanted this man. And oh my, oh, some old Joe using his chair. Oh my goodness! What a move! What a tactic by Samoa Joe. Hideo Tommy has Kofi Kings. He's got to take. Oh my. Hideo Tommy still spots here. He, the winner of this will go to WrestleMania and get a chance to win the European Championship. One, two, trail. Oh, Pete Dunn stops it. Pete Dunn stops it. Two, two near cones. Oh, Pete Dunn's going to pay for that. Kofi Kingston just getting his ass and arm whooped. Oh my god. And then Pete Dunn puts it on the corner. Oh, drop kick. A drop kick. This is out for WrestleMania, guys. It's out for WrestleMania. And Samoa Joe is just suffocating. But, uh, here's Pete Dunne. Oh, bitter end. One, two. Oh, uh, he drags it. Samoa Joe, my goodness. Uh, one, two, three. That is it. That is it. Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is going to WrestleMania. He has filled his spot. He has filled his spot. He is going to WrestleMania. He's going to face Xavier Woods, Luke Harper, Daniel Bryan, Okada, Carlito for the European Championship in a ladder match. What a move. What a save. I'm just getting word. Hello? Let's go to the back. There's Chris Jericho. And there, there's Luke Phillip. Luke Phillip asking for help. He's calling for help. And then here's AJ Styles. I really... What just happened? Well, the show must go on. And... Let's continue with our Hernandez Open Challenge match. Hernandez told the world that he doesn't need CM Punk to hold a title. He doesn't need anyone to hold a title. He's going to prove it tonight. He made an Open Challenge match. Who's going to accept? The lights went out. Who is this? Undertaker? Uh, who, who is it? It's Velveteen Dream! It's Velveteen Dream! A new signee for JWG! Hernandez is shocked as well. He is shocked. Hernandez, Velveteen. Oh my goodness, a big knee. Hernandez doesn't give. Big goes to rope. Hernandez lifts up. Velveteen. Oh, a drop kick. A drop kick to the chest. And a kip up. Oh. He's starting good. He's starting good. And then Velveteen Dream puts Hernandez. Oh my goodness. A DDT reversal. Of a twist. And then both of her Velveteen Dream dragging Hernandez. Oh, ba no, backbreaker. Backbreaker. What a save. Oh, and a big knee to the head. A big knee to the back of the head. This is why he's a champion. Nope. Oh, my goodness. One, two, kick out. Velveteen Dream's not giving up that easy. He's taking a little quick breeders. But then Hernandez not giving any time to think. Big guy flies. Catches Velveteen Dream with everything. He catches Velveteen Dream. Hernandez taking down the knee pad. He's taking, he's gonna finish this. And then, oh, uh, it's CM Punk. He's waving like everything's fine. Everything's not fine, CM Punk. And then, oh, a oh, famous sir. Famous sir. And then, oh my goodness. One, two, three. That is it. That is it. Velveteen Dream is the new sacrifice champion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sick and tired of you always interfering. You know what? 
You want to match the straight edge society? You want to face the straight edge society? We are challenging you to a match at WrestleMania. Straight edge versus CM Punk. What do you say? I'm not scared of a fight. I'm just saying be careful who you push because you know I like to push. It looks like we're getting a match with Straight Edge and CM Punk, but let's we have a message from Dean Ambrose, so let's get to that. Message. I got a message for AEW. I got a message for the Turner execs who don't want to sanction me. I'll tell them the same thing I told those suits, those puppets. The same thing I would tell teachers. The same thing I would tell the cops. The same thing I would tell anybody who doesn't like the fact that I march to the beat of my own drum. And it's real simple. You can take your win-loss record and shove it straight up your ass. Because the truth is, the undeniable fact is, I am the bad son of a bitch in this game. I am the sickest son of a bitch in this game. And there ain't a damn soul in AEW who's going to come out here and try to prove me wrong. Always got a point. You want unsanctioned? They want unsanctioned, huh? I'm unsanctionable. You want unsanctioned? I'm unsanctionable. I'm out of control. You think I'm out of control? You ain't seen nothing yet. Be careful what you wish for. For glorious wrestling violence, the likes of which we haven't seen in this country in decades. Mega's blood will be on AEW's hands. And I got a message. I got a message for AEW. Such big freaking stars. I can carry this bag all around all the time with all this, all this gold, all these accolades, all these belts, and they don't mean dick. And the Iron Man of the WWE. I prove it every single night. And I will drag my broken body to WrestleMania. And I will take that title. Look like Dean Ambrose wants a WrestleMania match. And he's going to get a WrestleMania match. We scheduled a WrestleMania match for him. It's an open challenge match where anything goes for the hardcore championship match. Anyone can attend and can be pinned anywhere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, Terry Funk said he had to say he had to get something off his chest. So we'll let him say it. Here comes Terry Funk. I want to tell you guys a story, a quick story, about how two men started in this company at the same time, but one fell just a little bit short and the other raised to the top. The person that fell short kept losing, losing, and losing. And the other person kept winning, winning, and winning until Royal Rumble. The person that always kept losing had a miracle and won the Royal Rumble event. And now... <laughs> He is fighting for the top prize in JWG. Someone pinch me. Finn, I want you to look at me closely. Your 15 minutes of fame, your Cinderella story, is going to end at WrestleMania. And it's not going to end as you walking out as champion. But you getting your head crushed in by me. After WrestleMania, you're just going to be another person that lost to me. But I think you would be used to... Uh, here comes Finn Balor. Looked like he had enough of it. He had enough of this crap. I'm mean, here, John Cena coming to help. And both men going at it. Punching left, right, left, right. Oh, Terry Funk's gonna stop. But who's this? It's, it's Hideo Itami. It's Hideo Itami coming to help his friend in aid. He lost, his, he lost at the beginning of this show. But, oh my god. Intentions are heating up, well ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania, it is confirmed, it is signed, it is well written, it is Terry Funk versus Finn Balor. See you at JWG episode 14, the last JWG episode.